having been the target of constant overt and covert censorship by YouTube for years, the following is my experience and analysis of how YouTube is actively suppressing and banning legitimate flat earth content while allowing and promoting illegitimate disinformation and controlled opposition agents. Since its inception, Google has always prioritized the farcical, satirical, Flat Earth Society when users search the topic Flat Earth in their search engine. By doing so, people are introduced to disingenuous disinformation as the primary source of information on the subject, and thus influenced into believing the entire topic to be unscientific and just some convoluted troll. Before 2015, when the Flat Earth keyword began its explosive exponential growth, many of my Flat Earth videos went viral, appearing in recommended feeds and given top priority in all relevant searches, garnering millions of views and tens of thousands of new subscribers in a very short space of time. Since approximately 2016 and onward, however, YouTube has completely changed their algorithm so that a search for Flat Earth and related topics gives results that show only Flat Earth debunking videos for the first several pages. No videos by any legitimate Flat Earther appear in the search, nor do they make it to recommended feeds. If any user scrolls down through the wall of sophist debunking videos, they will then be met with the second wall of disingenuous government Metatron corporate infiltrators, and not a single legitimate scientific Flat Earth video. In order to influence public opinion and the recommended feed algorithm, which involves a video's like ratio, YouTube has also engaged in a campaign against myself and other genuine Flat Earth content creators by egregiously removing all likes and the ability to like our videos. Not only will thousands of likes disappear and reset to zero overnight, but users' previous likes will remain in the like position without being counted, while users trying to add new likes are disabled. Meanwhile, however, all dislikes and the ability to dislike remains untouched, making it appear that the public consensus of each video is abysmal, and making it impossible to appear in YouTube's recommended feed. Several times, and now as if on cue, when a new video on my channel gathers an above average number of views and likes, within 48 hours, someone with direct access to YouTube's own software and administrative privileges wipes all the likes and the ability to like the new video. Every time they have done this, they also wipe the likes from my most recent 10 to 15 videos also, for good measure, as if trying to punish me or send some silent message. I assume they could just remove every single like from every video on my account if they wanted, but for whatever reason, they just do it periodically to groups of new videos like this. An even more sinister and effective covert form of censorship YouTube has been engaging in with mine and other legitimate Flat Earth channels is removing subscriptions. Over the years, I have received thousands of comments from users complaining of being unsubscribed from my channel, not once, but repeatedly. Many longtime subscribers have complained of being mysteriously unsubscribed from my channel upwards of five to ten times periodically over the course of several years. Through no action of their own, after noticing a lack of my content appearing in their feeds, users continue commenting that my channel has disappeared from their subscription list. As with removing likes, removing subscriptions makes it incredibly difficult to build a channel, unlikely to appear high in searches, and influences public opinion about the authority and popularity of the content in question. This act of removing likes and subscribers from content creators implicates YouTube themselves in the organized, intentional, unlawful censorship of selected channels in direct violation of the First Amendment rights guaranteed in their country of operation. 
channels who attempt using YouTube's Live Hangout feature encounter another method of covert censorship, whereby people with access to YouTube's administrative dashboard are hacking into live video streams and shutting them down, taking them over and streaming their own anti-Flat Earth content, or playing hardcore pornography on the stream, resulting in the channel owner having their account irrevocably striked. And I stipulate irrevocably because all appeals are denied without reason or explanation. Legitimate, independent, scientific channels like Beyond the Imaginary Curve are constantly sniped and porn-bombed during their live hangouts, while illegitimate, unscientific, Metatron corporate infiltrators like a certain cold potato channel that shall remain nameless are never affected, nor do they ever have their likes and subscriptions removed. Quite to the contrary, they are prioritized over all other better, genuine content. Hi people, um, just a wee video to let everybody know that I'm going to be going live for the next three months on the Beyond the Imaginary Curve live channel. Um, unfortunately, the other night we were pawn bombed, which, you know, and sniped, which means, you know, these globe cult gimps take over the hangout, you know, uninvited and play porn on it, knowing that it's going to give you a three month copyright strike, which limits your ability to live stream. So unfortunately, I thought, you know, previous to that, I thought I could get away with it because when they come in and they snipe, I can go and hit private on the, the live video that will not be shown and I can then, you know, delete it when it's finished. But in this case, it appears that for whatever reason, YouTube are at hand and ready to issue the strike immediately. And again, no investigation into, you know, what actually went on and holding the, the proper accounts accountable. You know, they just punish the content provider you know, whatever. Um, we're, we're really at a time where we should be able to freely express ourselves and have discussions without criminal activity of people coming in and hacking into, you know, your account and taking it over, you know, and playing porn. Again, we have to ask the questions, why does that function even exist? You know, I'm, I'm no any kind of computer um, genius, far from it. Um, I don't even have a, a proper understanding of how these things work, but you know, I use the analogy, why do I put a handle on a door if I don't want people to open the door? So I have to ask these questions, why does that facility even exist? So it's been utilised by this globe cult um, and it's fear um, of being exposed, which is why these people are behaving the way they are. When all else fails, YouTube simply bans your channel. As myself and several other Flat Earthers, such as ODD TV, I Hate Mainstream, Mary at Sea Level, The Seattle Green, Luke Donnelly, Jay DeCasby, and many others have experienced. On December 12, 2017, in a particularly outrageous case, in violation of their own community guidelines, YouTube removed my original channel of seven plus years 135,000 subscribers and 28 million views for a single hate speech strike. Firstly, there was no hateful speech anywhere in the factual historical documentary they striked. But secondly, and more importantly, they deleted my entire channel of over 200 videos for a single strike, when their own legal terms and conditions along with every user's channel dashboard states that channels are allowed three strikes before being banned. Just as with the sniping and porn bombing attacks, strike and banishment appeals are denied and met with silence no matter how you try to contact YouTube for answers. YouTube has long been engaging in this blatant censorship of Flat Earth and many other important topics and it is high time this becomes publicized so they are held accountable for their unlawful actions. Please help share this video across your social media platforms to spread the word about YouTube's underhanded suppression of selected users and subjects. Also be sure to follow on BitTube, DTube, BitChute, Reel.Video, and other independent video sharing sites where your likes, subscriptions, and channels won't be so callously censored. Since we cannot rely on YouTube's algorithms, searches, or recommended videos, it is up to us and of paramount importance that we manually share this information by word of mouth 
and grassroots activism. So I implore everyone, take it upon yourselves and make it your life's mission, as I and many others have, to expose these lies and liars and fight for the truth so ourselves and future generations can live in a world where basic liberties like free speech are prized and protected.